everyone and welcome to Evo India. Today, I'm going to be sharing a few essential tips with y'all with which you can squeeze out the most driving range from your electric car. This is going to be an educational video, so y'all better buckle up. To demonstrate it, I've got the all new Tata Punch.EV with me. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. But before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to the Evo India YouTube channel and also hit that bell icon to stay notified for all our video drops. Now, the last three years have seen a considerable rise in the popularity of EVs in India because they've gotten a lot better than before. With their plausible real-world range now, they are neck and neck against ice-powered vehicles, but they have a few limitation factors which always bug our minds. The first being their charging times and the second is their real world range. But I've been living with an EV for the past six months now and we at Evo India have also done many long trips in an EV. So yeah, living with an EV is very much possible in India. But there are a few things that you need to consider and take care of to make the most out of them. First thing is your driving style. Now, if there's one thing which an EV has taught me, it's the fact that I need to be a smooth operator. Yes, EVs are super sensitive to your driving style. Smoothness is the key while piloting an EV. Acceleration. Don't just stomp on the throttle pedal and go like hell every time. I know these EVs have a really good initial pull and that is something which is highly addictive which never gets old but you have to be gradual on the throttle because every time you brake you have to accelerate again and that takes a toll on your driving range so simply being smooth and being gentle with your controls can increase your range considerably Now EVs have a very interesting trick up their sleeve, their regenerative braking system or regen as we like to call it. This system captures the kinetic energy that your car generates while slowing down and feeds it back into the battery. EVs now offer different levels of regen and this system can also completely slow down the car on its own. The Tata Punch.EV also gets three driving modes with different power and torque curves. And I really like to drive it in the eco mode because it allows you to be accurate and super smooth with the throttle. In this mode, there isn't a sudden surge of power down low and that helps in conserving energy. The city mode brings in more power in the low and mid range and the sport mode deploys an additional 30% more power than the other two. Which is why that it should only be reserved for those instances when you only want to have fun. In the city, it's best to use the accelerator gradually and to use the region in its mid-level setting. Once you let go of the throttle, the car decelerates gradually and you can even come to a complete stop without using mechanical brakes. In bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic though, it's best to use the strongest region setting because that enables proper one-pedal driving, which is such a convenient feature. I absolutely love it. Once you let go of the throttle, the car slows down immediately. The Punch.EV gets paddles behind its steering wheel to adjust the level of region and it's a super neat feature because it allows you to change the region settings instantly at any time. And by long pressing the right paddle, you can also switch to the maximum region setting just like that. Now driving on the highway is a completely different scenario. Out here on the highway, the region should be in its lightest setting. You can even completely turn it off because once you get up to speed, all you need to do is slightly let go of the throttle and let the car coast on its own. This way, you aren't using a lot of power and because the region is very light, it's not slowing the car down abruptly. On a highway, it's also better to be considered about the speeds that you're doing. Too fast and you'll require more power to maintain that speed. But too slow and you'll be hogging up traffic behind. So it's better to stick to the center lane and keep 
distance from the cars which are in front and behind you because that way you can plan your overtakes your braking as well as your acceleration Now EVs often eat a lot of range while climbing mountains but you'll be fairly surprised by how much energy they can put back into the battery once on the other side of the mountain Now coasting down a hill with the region in the mid setting it can put energy back into the battery more than you can imagine All you have to do is look around and drive accordingly check your mirrors check if there's someone who's trying to overtake you who's coming at you from behind at a fast speed a speed that's faster than you then you can simply pull into the other lane and allow them to overtake this way you don't have to brake and accelerate as well speaking of coming down a hill the panja tv it's a damn good handling car in fact it handles a lot better than its petrol powered cousin because of its batteries which are set down low in the floorboard and that gives it a lower center of gravity which improves handling even though this car is rolling on low rolling resistance tires it can take corners at a speed much faster than you can imagine almost all evs out in the market today have low rolling resistance tires and the panjra tv it's no different now as the name suggests these tires actually have a lower rolling resistance factor which actually helps them to increase efficiency Now it's very important to stick to the recommend pressure in these tires because that is when they offer the best of both worlds. But we all know the math. The higher the tire pressure, the lower the rolling resistance. So you can actually bump the tire pressure by 1 or 2 psi, maximum 3 psi, then what the manufacturer recommends, but you also have to keep in mind that that will decrease your grip levels out on the road. Now it's a very hot day today, so let's go inside. And that brings me to a feature in an electric car that eats the most range the air conditioning now i am not going to tell you to completely turn it off because i know that this summer feels like the hottest one that we've ever encountered but even with the aircon you should be pretty considerate a lot of people do a big mistake and that's the fact that they put the aircon in its lowest setting and not only does it suck out more power from the battery but it also turns your car into a freezer and that's not good for your body if you've just sat inside after spending some time in blazing hot sun on the outside so it's always recommended to keep the aircon in a more moderate temperature in a more moderate setting because you have to keep in mind the lower you go the more you are chewing into your driving range Tata Motors recommends that 23 degrees is the ideal aircon temperature. The Punch.EV's eco mode also reduces the intensity of the aircon and makes it even more efficient. If your state of charge drops below 20%, it kicks in automatically and switches off the AC completely when you drop below 5%. The Punch.EV also has another neat feature. When you hit 0% state of charge, you still have 500 meters worth of range left to pull over to the side of the road. Now, battery deterioration is a hot topic when someone is looking to buy an EV because the battery efficiency of an electric car that depletes over time. But there are ways to look after your battery as well. First thing is avoid too much fast charging. and slow charging to 100% is the best in fact manufacturers always recommend slow charging to 100% whenever you can fast charging overloads the battery as the energy moves into it faster and that is what decreases its efficiency in the long run so taking care of your battery will not only help you to retain its efficiency but it will also help you to retain the value of your car in the long run So those were a few tips by which you can increase the efficiency of your electric car and decrease your range anxiety. Is there anything else that works particularly for you? Let me know in the comments below. Ciao.